All right, so the Carl's Jr. brand. I was a little, um, I was a little concerned when I took this job because I said, you know, that brand, it's so guy focused. And, you know, it's, oh, just maybe a little bit misogynistic. Sexist. Yeah, it is. And now I've come to embrace them. <laughs> so um, we are all about <coughs> craveable burgers for young, hungry guys. And that is something that you will hear repeated by our CEO, our executive vice president of marketing, our mailroom guy, our, you know, everybody, the, every general manager at every unit. Big, delicious burgers, craveable burgers for young, hungry guys. And that's our target market. Whether or not that's who is buying all of our burgers, no, they're not buying all of our burgers, but that's who we market to. Um, it's the young hungry guys are 18 to 34 year old males. Um, they're, you know, every hip brand, that's the sweet spot. That's our sweet spot as well. Um, McDonald's goes for several targets, they've got the Hispanic market, they've got women, they, so they're, you know, definitely tar targeting soccer moms. Um, they've got the, you know, young hungry guy, heavy fast food users, and they've got kids, and they're going after it, so they're very much the 800 pound gorilla. They can market to everybody. We're two regional brands. We have far less money and staff to go around and market our products so we have to do it with laser focus so with those 30 18 to 34 year old guys um, we know that they are they are going to come back and be the most loyal customers they're heavy fast food users they use our restaurant as um, as a kitchen replacement you know without us some guys would starve um, that was one of our taglines. It's also an aspirational target uh, because our actual target is um, we see it, the majority of our, our customers are actually over 35 white guys, higher income, with um, a higher level of education. But that doesn't mean that their frequency is as great as the young hungry guy. Um, so we've got this aspirational target. So the aspirational target means that we want to have the perception be that people who go to Carl's Jr. are young hungry guys. It's hip, it's cool, it's got that West Coast swagger. And those folks, if you're a woman, hey, I want to date a young hungry guy. If you're a, um, my CEO says this all the time, I'm a 58 year old guy who wishes he could be a young hungry guy. You want to be that guy. That's what we're portraying. And uh, we do that more, more than just with our advertising, but with our products. We don't do tiny products. We don't do gut fill 99 cent burgers. We do big, huge, giant burgers with meat on meat, with guacamole, with everything. We throw the works on it, and we don't sell it cheaply. So if you go to Carl's Jr., you really are a fan of the brand because you're not going there to get a quick, cheap meal. Um, we identify ourselves as the premium, premium quality um, offerings. Um, it's you know not microwaved. It's actually charbroiled right there, made to order. If you don't want Southwest sauce on your chicken sandwich, you don't have to have Southwest sauce on your chicken sandwich. Um, and the, the portion sizes are big. We get a lot of um, a lot of crap from the food police on that. And uh, every probably six months or so, there will be a, a study that came out about obesity and that um, cheeseburgers are unhealthful. Well, yeah, they really are. And we kill cows for a living. So. Um, <laughs> You know, that's how it goes. If you're going to eat meat and if you're going to um, eat a burger, why not eat the best, most delicious tasting burger you can? Come into Carl's Jr. That's a very unapologetic stance that we take. Um, and it kind of goes with the brand of the West Coast Swagger. And, you know, kind of F you I'm eating. So, <laughs> uh, in our 
ads, we, we have pretty memorable advertising. It's, um, I'm sure most of you have seen our Paris Hilton ad from five years ago. It gets replayed all the time. She was eating a burger and washing a Bentley in a, might I add, a one-piece bathing suit. It was not bikini. Um, <laughs> but it got a lot of attention. And that's what we're going for, memorable ads. We need something that will uh, grab your attention and hold it and get people talking. Um, McDonald's can come in and say, I'm loving it, you're loving it, we're loving it, and sing the jingle over and over and over and have five times as many commercials. Eventually you'll just say, hey, maybe I am loving it, I'm gonna go get a McDonald's hamburger. Well, with ours, we're setting the tone for the brand that it's the hip, sexy, young, hungry guy place to eat. Um, and we do that in, in several ways. Um, definitely sexy women. Um, I think it's a guy's attention like a hot babe. <laughs> and yes, I am a member of the National Organization for Women. Um, humor, <laughs> as you can tell, is uh, definitely part of our brand. We have to have um, this kind of funny take on it because otherwise, what's the point? We're, we're you know, we make burgers. It's not, it's not rocket science, so let's have fun with that. Um, also, on our ads, at the very end, after the sexy girl is gone and, and whatever they were eating is talked about, we have what's called the burger drop. And the, at the filming of the commercial, it's hysterical because it literally is called burger drop. And they drop a burger from out of the camera range and it drops onto a table and it just goes bounce and all the stuff has to stay together. So that burger drop can take a hundred takes sometimes. It has to still look great, look hot and juicy, all the delicious things about it. Um, but that's one of our iconic um, uh, branding um, elements is, is this burger drop. And we also have the same announcer that we've had since we started the $6 burger line in 93, 4. So he's been around a long time. Um, people give us grief about him, Jay Moore. Um, the comedian does a whole bit on him that says he uh, sounds like an idiot, sounds like a slacker, sounds like a child molester because he's always saying, hey man, buy our burgers. Yeah, man, come buy our burgers. And it is, but it's part of, that's one of the iconic things about our ads is we always have the same announcer and it's kind of, his intonation is part of our brand. Like, dude, we're so cool, we don't have to have some guy saying, eat our burgers now, now, now. Um, so again, all of these go back to making our brand unique.